Hello, everybody, and welcome to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Now, we have the Common Sense DLC pack now that just came out today, the day of this recording, and it's got a bunch of new stuff in it, and I want to read you off a list of everything that's new that's been added to the game. I got it right here in my hand. We're just going to go over it really quick. There are a bunch of new religious gameplay aspects, mostly revolving around Protestants and Buddhists. Uh, theocracies have gotten a bit of an overhaul with a new mechanic called Devotion. New subject interactions. That means when you're talking to your subjects, your protectorates or marches or vassals, there's a bunch of new stuff you can do with them. Parliaments have been introduced for constitutional republics and constitutional monarchies. Uh, there is a new provincial upgrading system, and we'll go over that in-game. You can uh, uh, designate certain cities in the Holy Roman Empire free cities. Now, I'm not sure what that means or how that'll work, but I'm sure it'll crop up eventually. And governments now have ranks. There are three ranks. I believe they go Duchy, Kingdom, Empire, and I believe you can spend power points to upgrade your government to get better passive uh, better passive traits, basically. Now, I was originally planning on playing as the Teutonic Order, but they're a monastic order and they don't have government ranks, and they're also pretty predominantly linked to the Catholic Church, and I kind of wanted to play as a Protestant this time because I've never done it before, and that left me with the idea of playing as Poland. Now, I have done a little series on Poland before. It was I kind of stumbled through it because I was pretty new at the game at the time, but I think, I'll, I think I'll go with Poland again because I have a much stronger grasp of game concepts this time around, and Poland has a really good really good start for what I want to do. They already have two different types of vassals, a uh, regular vassal and a march. They're right on the border between uh, uh, Catholicism and Christianity, which means I'm ki I can kind of go either way, and uh, Protestantism could be something I could go for. I don't necessarily have to be linked directly with the Catholic Church. And I know there was something else I wanted to talk about about it. But anyway, it's, it's just, I find it to be a very interesting start that's going to have a lot of uh, aspects of common sense uh, uh, kind of up front and center. So we're going to go with Poland. I actually just remembered what the, the other aspect of the, of the Polish gameplay I like is, and that's that they're not Western. I, I generally stray away from Western powers when I play this game. I like to play as other people, and they are just about almost, almost Western, but not quite. Uh, Poland is Eastern. Let's see if we go to tech. Uh, yes, we are Eastern. Uh, it's, it's not a far deviation from Western, but it is just a little ways off. Now, let's do our normal thing. We're going to go through all of our pop-ups here. We need some new rivals, so definitely going to go with the Teutonic Order. We do not like each other. And Hungary, definitely. Classic rival. And now, not Lithuania, probably the Ottomans. Or, yeah, Ottomans. I don't like to mess with Bohemia too much just because they're kind of, you know, right on the border of the Holy Roman Empire there. And I don't, I, if I can avoid it, I'd like to be not on the wrong side of the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, our income is not great, only about six, so we should be able to at least hire in some advisors. Let's see, tax modifier or national unrest? I'm going to go with national unrest because our taxes aren't too high right now as it is. Spy offense or better relations over time? Uh, let's go with better relations over time. And for military, land maintenance modifier or fort defense? We're going to go with land maintenance modifier. Make my guys cheaper to, to keep them up. I do have a decent-sized military, 19,000 men. What What is that? Within your... Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I understand what that is now. These, the, these little turrets here, those little indicators, show you where you have forts because you no longer build forts in every single province like you did before to get kind of get that static bonus. Now the way they work is they're more expensive, they cost... Uh, they're, they're like a military unit in that they cost maintenance, and they have a zone of control around them. And I believe anything in the zone of control of a fort will get some sort of bonus from it. I th I, I, I didn't, I, you know, I read through the patch notes really quickly. I'm sure we'll figure it out in time. I seem to remember uh, that they're... Any place without a, uh, you know, a fort in it is going to be really, really, really easy to capture. Forts are going to be really, really, really difficult to capture. And anything in this, you know, sphere of influence of a fort can be recaptured by the fort, I think. I guess we'll figure it out with time. So let's uh, pick a mission. Conquer Ch uh, Chalmno. Solidify. Let's do this right here. Solidify relations with the Pope just because that is really easy to take care of. Diplomacy and relations and improve relations with the Pope down here. 
I'm also going to want to improve relations over here. Uh, should we do that right now? Let's, let, let, let's give that a tick. Uh, we have some decisions available. Pass Advancement of Religion Act. Now, because I have a theologian, I can do this. National unrest goes up. Missionary strength goes up. That could be beneficial. Mm, I'm thinking, yeah, that could be cool. Let's do that. Yeah, definitely. Now, uh, let's see. Form union with Lithuania. We need a stability of one and diplomatic power of 100. Yeah, so stability and diplomatic power. So I'm going to need to, to wait on some points here. But in the meantime, what I can do... Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do relations. No, dynastic. Royal marriage. Let's have a royal marriage with L Lithuania. Yes. Get them as a, as a strong ally. Uh... One family to rule them all. I already got an achievement. Have your dynasty on eight thrones at the same time. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. Didn't realize I did that. But I'll, I'll go with it. That must be one of the new ones that came with, with common sense. Form an alliance. Yes, I will form an alliance with Lithuania. Thank you very much. Lithuania is relatively powerful right now, so an alliance with them is definitely a very good idea for me. Now, we can... Our missionaries do have some clout, so we can send them off. So why don't we get that going and start getting rid of some of the orthodoxy. I, mean, I only got the one missionary right now. It's going to piss that one spot off. It's uh, this one right now. Unrest is high there, so we can... We can kind of work on that a little by sending our troops over there. And we are actually going to want to move the maintenance slider down on those troops. Yeah, and uh, this is all new right up here. Instead of... It's called development, I believe. Instead, instead of base tax, you have development. Base tax used to be like a core concept, kind of everything revolved around. And now it's development. You need to have a certain level of development before you can do certain things. So uh, here you can see you can spend power points and to improve the development of your counties. Uh, so 64 admin power, and that'll give me monthly tax increase and spy defense. Uh, this one would have gotten me... Uh, I don't even know what it would have gotten. Oh, there we go. Goods produced. Oh, goods produced and shipbuilding. And this is... Let's see, maximum manpower, local recruitment time, and garrison growth. Okay, cool. Cool, I like it. I'm liking it so far. I mean, it's going to take a little while before everything is kind of... Ooh, you know what? We're taking... We, get, we need to knock this down a little bit. Um, not split in half. We want to create a new unit and knock just four regiments off. Just so they're not taking attrition. I don't need to take attrition. Not right now. Now, we need to we need to think about our first mil... Ooh, I thought it was 15. Was I wrong? Nope, it was 14. My bad. Or maybe the, maybe the winner set in. Let's uh, knock another unit off. I'm assuming maybe the... I, I could have sworn it said 15. So let's knock another unit off. Let's see if we can help that out. Oh, hello, cell phone. I should probably put that on silent. I always forget. If you ever hear that noise, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming the, the recording picked that up. It usually does. That's my cell phone going off. Usually my wife. All right. Oh, okay, that's better. That's better. Now, uh, that knocked it down by about 2%. The missionary and the intolerance is really pissing them off. Uh, religious unity is, is a little bit, but I don't think it'll be a problem. We should probably be able to take care of it. Yeah, 19 years? Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a while. Yeah, we're, we're fine there. We're fine there. Okay, good. So uh, let's start thinking about our first military conquest, which is going to be up this way. So Because uh, the Teutonic Order is one of our rivals, so we're going to want to... Do some covert actions and start fabricating some claims on their land. And we're, we're going to fabricate claims on everything it'll allow us to. From that Friesland has been accepted the offer from Austria to become a free city. So is that... Where's the free city? I'm assuming that was it right there. Because I don't remember that being there before. I thought I saw Friesland. I wonder what that actually does. I'm kind of curious. Part of the Holy Roman Empire, government rank duchy, Western tech group. Hmm. I wonder. 
Oh, you know what we should? We should have, now that I think about it, we're in our interregnum right now. Yeah. Royal marriage with a uh, succession war between Bohemia and Hungary. Okay. We have no, we're in an interregnum. We have no heir right now, which is unfortunate. And what we need to do to fix that is form the, the personal union with Lithuania. So that means I need one stability point and a hundred diplo power. So it's going to be just a little while before we do that. And stability is probably going to cost me just a, not terribly much, but a little bit. 123. Yeah. 123. So we're almost there. Hundred and twenty-three and a hundred points here should we'll, we'll do the trick. Let's crank this actually up to speed four, because right now we're just kinda waiting on that. Can't really do too much with an interregnum. I generally there's not too many times where it'll happen, but you definitely want to take care of it as soon as you possibly can. I definitely like the idea of going Protestant. I've never done Protestant before, and the the Protestant, you know, improvements with the Protestant Reformation is one of the the, the aspects of this game or this DLC. So that's definitely something I want to do is Protestantism. It's going to take some getting used to. You know, you play a game for not even hours, hundreds of hours, and then all of a sudden it's different. You know, you got to get used to it. And although I, you know, I'm not complaining. It's it's definitely an improvement. I kind of didn't like the building system before. I always felt like there were far too many buildings to build, but now it's not too bad. There's far fewer now. Let's actually take a look at them. They're not development, buildings. So, uh, yeah, it's broken down pretty nicely here. So, trade buildings, there's only three. Trade power, 50%. Trade power, 100%. And trade power, 125%. Simple as that. Government, local unrest down local unrest down and local development cost down that's good so if you want to build there's a province you really want to develop university is a good idea uh, production local production efficiency replaces workshop local production efficiency 100 percent tax modifier tax modifier and missionary strengths of three percent that's a lot definitely a lot naval force limit uh naval force limit okay all, all regular navy stuff Manpower, manpower, force limit, and force limit. Defense, fort, two, castle, four. Bastion, six, and fortress, eight. And manufactories, pretty simple. Far fewer buildings than there were before. And this is definitely something I'm going to have to take a, a further look at. I'm a, these little numbers are the current development of those provinces and how much it costs to actually improve them in terms of power points. Now, let's... It, I know the forts cost maintenance. I know they do. So, they should be... Missionary, uh, army, fleet, colonial maintenance, missionary maintenance, army maintenance, fleet maintenance. It's not on here. Um, expenses. Harbor development. Fort maintenance. Right there. Two. Okay. So, they're one... They cost one gold a piece right now at this current level to keep them up. Now, mothballing them. I know you can mothball them. Let's actually get that... We can afford the stability now, so let's do that. Oh, you know what? No, 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 let's do it. I almost decided to wait, because I have a feeling that, like... I don't know, sometimes this game, you know, you, you have something in mind, and the game is just like, you know what? I don't like your plan. I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in it. And I was sitting there thinking, I was like, I feel like as soon as I hit that boost stability button... The game's gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna throw an event at you to lower your stability. But then, you know, you know, positive stability gives you a bunch of good things. So, I so I went with it. Yeah. Autonomy is pretty low in these areas. Actually, we can actually take a look at it. I, I, I'm fairly interested in is the fact that the game is actually, for me at least, is running significantly slower than it was before. I'm I'm fairly interested in that. Uh, my influence is pretty, pretty paltry right now. Not that much. And we're improving relations. We're not... Are we improving relations with the Pope? Yes, we are improving relations with the Pope. Monopoly company formed. Crowns often granted trading companies the exclusive rights to traffic goods in a region. These monopolies were granted in exchange for lump sum payments and continuing revenues from the traders. So we can make a long-term investment. Uh, trade efficiency goes up. We gain some diplo power, which is what we want right now. Or demand full payment. Let's do the long-term investment. 
because I need those power points. Because that unlocks this. We formed a personal union with Lithuania. They sworn their complete allegiance to us, following us to rule our nations as one, allowing us to rule. Uh, only good can come from this. Okay, good. Now. Ah, yes. King Casimir's. Uh, 441. Terrible military co uh, commander, but great admin and great diplomatic skill. Elective monarchy in Poland. Now, I'm not going to read this entire thing because I've actually done it before, and you guys can read it from yourself, if you will. But it basically says that we're forming sort of a congress of sorts, uh, the the Sejem. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and which is a terrible shame because as a Polak, I should be able to pronounce Polish words correctly, but I'm like third generation in America Polish, so my Polish is actually... I know how to curse in Polish. That's what I know how to do. So uh, that'll give me national unrest of negative one, income from vassals up, monthly autonomy change is better, and national focus cooldown minus five. That's something new. That means when I change my, my focus, oof, that's pretty good, good numbers, good numbers. When I change my focus, there is going to be less of a cooldown to change it again. That's my true religion, trade income, increase, okay. Now, this is, this is still by adding two power each month, and it'll go negative, so, okay. That's the same, what, do we want to focus on anything right now? I don't think I want to focus on anything particular. What we, we do need to do is continue fabricating these claims. I'm going to do all of them. Now that one's for right here, and the other one is for right there. So, I'm going to fabricate all those claims. I believe, I know that war has changed with this, with this DLC. I guess we'll see when we finally get to war, but war has definitely changed. Now what did I need to get my relations with the Pope up to? Objective is at least 100. Okay, so we're pretty close. It just needs to be 100. 100 is not that far away. Western focus. What is this? So, admin tech of 10 is at peace. Have stability. Total development of 200. Government rank is kingdom. One of the following must be true. Owns a core province of Danzig. Separatism lower than 1. All the following must be true. Own a core province of Vine. Own a core province of Prague. And then it'll let me to allow me to westernize. So if I take Prague, which is where, I should know this. Prague and Vine, W I E N. Now maybe I could use the find a province thingy for the first time ever. There we go. Uh, there it is. Ooh, so we gotta get down here. We gotta go to Austria. It means we gotta go through Hungary. Or we can. Eh, we gotta fuck with. Either way, no, no matter what, we need to fuck with the Holy Roman Empire. The other one was Prague, I believe. Uh, there it is, right there. Capital of Bohemia. So we need to fuck with Bohemia and Austria. That is something. Uh, that doesn't change my initial focus of wanting to go north, but that does mean that I'm going to need to go south harder than I anticipated. If I want, because I I I don't know if that automatically changes you to western, or if it just initiates the westernization process. Because those are a big difference, right? Those two things, big difference, big 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 difference. All right, we have a little bit of an income. We're okay on that. Now the fort maintenance. Can we can we mothball the fort somehow? I know that. Well, I know you can. I just don't know where you would go about doing it. Military, maybe. Mothball all forts. All right, there we go. All right, that worked. Now, if we wanted to, we can inc we could increase the development of our capital here. Hmm. Kind of tempted to do it just to see what it you know you know exactly how it goes about going. Fortress is okay. I guess that's the button right there. Costs half. All right. Okay. That decreases the maintenance by one gold. So now it should be at five something. Yeah. Um. 
I feel like I should save up for tech first. Although that's a far that's a far way off right now. 718 power points. 718, that is a few. Poland gets influence in the Curia until December 2nd, 1456. Papal influence of plus five. Oh, okay. I just got 100. I just finished my mission. That's what we got. Form alliance with Brandenburg. Or conquer Chelmnu. I do plan on doing that. Prestige is really low. There's Brandenburg. We hate Brandenburg. We're not going to do that. We're going to do this one. Statute of Champagne. Just looking at some of this other stuff. I guess we'll, get, we'll, 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 we'll go over it when we get to it. It's definitely going to be a while, tech-wise, before I do anything. Definitely going to be a little while. How's my... How's Stanislaw? 223. Not terrible, but could be could be better. Could definitely be better. All right, let's crank this up a little bit. Yeah, this is... I, I'm wondering what happened with the optimization, because nothing on my end changed. But the game's running at a reduced frame rate for me. Maybe there's there, there's a lot more going, going on under the hood here now. It's quite possible that that has something to do with it. Actually, you know what we could do in the meantime? Let's take a look at diplomacy between these guys. So... Fortune Annex, Destiny, March, Break Vassal, Proclaim. Dynastic, Covert. Economic. Huh. I don't see anything new in here. Maybe it would be under subjects. Actions. Uh, we can enable subsidized armies. Send 0.1 of your monthly manpower to this march. This will change their opinion. By oh, okay. You could... That's interesting. Enable embargo rivals. You can embargo your rivals. Embargo... Uh, force your fastos to pay an additional 50% of their income to you. They're long longer be called to wars. Okay, so... It looks like for, for my march, that's definitely new. I can subsidize their armies by sending them troops. For the regular vassals, I can take more of their money, but they won't go to war with me. And this is my personal union, I believe. Support loyalists. 10% of their monthly income. Able embargo rough. Okay, that's in there too. Uh, subject interactions. Okay. This is this this is new. So let's look at uh, Mazovia first. That's this area right here. Uh, placate local rulers. Liberty desire goes down. A cost of 20 prestige. Okay, that was always there. Place relation on the throne. Subject must have a regency. Enforce religion. Forces them to change the religion to yours. Interesting. And what else we got? Uh, with that was there. Enforce religion. That's the same. Enforce culture. Interesting. You can force them to be adopt your culture. That's definitely interesting. Siphon income. I like that. Siphon 50% of their yearly income, which will worsen relations by negative 100, increase liberty desires. Support loyalists. And this is my march. Local rulers. Embargo. Enforce religion. Subsidize armies. Fortify march. So will that build them a fort at my cost? Yep, yep, that's exactly what that is. You can you can build a that'll build a fort in the march that you will pay for. I like it. I like it. That's definitely I, I always felt like there was oftentimes very little point to vassalizing someone. Now I feel like there's a much grander point to vassalizing people. It could you know, it's definitely situational. But it can definitely, definitely be very, very important. Depending on your situations. Alright, ooh, you know what we forgot to do? Is fabricate that last claim. On new mark there. Alright, now. They are allied with the Livonian Order and Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg is over here, I believe. Yep, and Livonian Order is right there. And I will have Lithuania, Mazovia, and Moldovia. Moldavia? Moldavia. I'm going to go with Moldavia. Yeah, definitely. Definitely Moldavia. And I'm going to have them on my side, which I think is 
is damn good. I think we should be okay. Uh, right before this starts, we'll roll and hire in a military leader. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be okay. I know playing as Poland before, at the start, I could only have like a stack of like 12. So you can definitely support a lot more troops post-common sense than pre-common sense. That, that, that can definitely, definitely change things up. I'm very interested in that. So we're just going to wait for this to fabricate. And then we're going to declare war on the Teutonic Order. Now my goal is going to be to take the, uh, basically get all the Teutonic Order. Probably going to leave Pomerania alone. Just because they are part of the, technically part of the Holy Roman Empire, I'm pretty sure. So we can actually go to Imperial Map Mode. Yes. So I kind of want to stay away from them right now. So uh, Teutonic Order and then Hungary. Now I'm not going to go Teutonic Order, Teutonic Order, Teutonic Order, Hungary, 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 Hungary. Probably going to declare war on these guys. Then go to Hungary. Now, I seem to recall at the beginning of the game, Hungary and the Teutonic Order having some sort of alliance chain somewhere. They're allied to Austria, to Aragon, to Genoa, and to Tuscany. Interesting. I wonder if they changed that, or if I'm missing a relation somewhere. I honestly don't know. So what can I build? Oh, I can build forts somewhere if I wanted to. Oh uh, yes, let's recall that diplomat. And let's send him, uh, for now, we're going to send him over to Lithuania. Most important ally. So relations, improve relations, send that off. Definitely my most important ally right now. And I just, uh, no, I didn't, I didn't take a close look at that. Okay, we don't have any ahead penalty. First thing in the game, we shouldn't. Poor uniforms, damn. Morale of armies, minus 5%. Shit. So there's no ahead pen penalties right now, so we're definitely going to keep uh, saving up for tech. And there's something I wanted to take a look at. Government. All right. So right now, you need... Uh, this is the government rank thing. Uh, right now, I'm a kingdom. So that's the middle. That's two of three. You need 1,000 total development to increase your government rank, and you only have 172. You need 75 prestige to increase your government rank. Our duchy, kingdom, and empire. Higher rank governments have stronger bonuses and reduce the number of years you must wait to change your national focus. Okay. So that I'll, I'll get better national national ideas, basically, and the national focus thing will be better. That national focus thing can be definitely be important because there have been times where I've put it on something and then you know aspects of the games change in a way and be like, I desperately need some diplo power now, but I'm stuck for you know the next twelve years or whatever it is to uh, uh, on on admin points that I don't need anymore. Now, I, either I left something running in the background, which I don't think I did, or the optimization is not quite as good as it was before. Oh, look at the Byzantine Empire. It's so sad. It's so little. <laughs> oh, poor Byzantines. I have a, a, a Roman Empire map that I created through the CK2 save converter. Which is it, which is pretty damn epic. It's everything. It's basically everything from Scotland down to North Africa, across North Africa, basically to about here, and then up along the Black Sea, and uh, up into Poland and Lithuania. So basically all of this right here, and it's 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 damn epic. It's it's fun to play. All right, what are we at? 80, 89%, just about there. So now that we're getting close, let's move the slider back up. Let's unmothball Pomerania. Let's unmothball my, my what's it called? Fort Garrison. Oh, okay. So your garrison increases in size over time, which increases its power projection over the land, I think. I think. I'm not positive. Um, no. Definitely not. 
All right, I could increase the autonomy here. Well, the unrest is really not that big of a problem right now. I'm going to move the troops out, which will do what? That'll increase it by 3.5 up to a total of... Eh, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Okay, so we are free to declare war now. We have our claims fabricated, so let's uh, wait with army. So, oh, supply limit, uh, 20. Yeah, so let's move these guys right over here. Woo, they got a bigger army than me. Oh, and you know what we forgot to do is let's roll for a military leader and hope for the best. A zero one one. Shit. Well, that's what we got to work with. Oh, I was hoping for something so much better than that. They've got an army of 28? 29? Jesus fucking Christ! Calm your tits, dude! Are they at war right now? They're at war with Pomerania, yeah. Hmm. Well, we do have... All right, let's uh, let's keep them. Let's keep them right here for now. We're gonna rely on our allies basically to help us out. There's oh, that's Hungary. Oh, they're fighting Hungary right now. Oh, that's perfect for me. Teutonic Order is fighting Hungary right now. All right, they're gonna get the the shit kicked out of them. All right, merge these guys together. And now we're going to diplomacy. We're gonna declare war. We're gonna take Chelm New. We're gonna declare war. And what I'm going to hopefully do is follow this defeated army and, and, and wipe the floor with them. Because they're going to go right back to their capital, I believe. So let's cross the river to their capital and see where they go if I'm occupying it. Nope, oh, they're going to continue on. Yep, they're continuing on this way. So I want I'm going to follow them because I want to make sure I hit their army when it has nothing. Um I have to go I can't go directly to Hostile fort is blocking my way there. Oh, interesting. Oh, very interesting. There is a fort blocking my way there. I have to go around. That is indeed interesting. Now, who do they have on their side? Nobody important. That is very interesting. I'm going to have to keep an eye out on that. I was really hoping to get there sooner, but I have to kind of juke my way around. But we should be able to get there uh, at, on a deep land. No, I cannot even get there at all. I can't, I can't move into that territory at all. Nope. Land movement blocked by hostile fort. That is very interesting. So, um... I guess we gotta keep, we're gonna keep them hemmed in here. I'm going to... 100%. Does that mean it's going to happen? Fully occupied. Okay, yeah. It, it literally just takes one month now. Yeah. And I can't move... I can't, I can't move into that province. Interesting. Now, what happens if I move out? Uh, this is occupied by Poland. That's me. Man, this got this 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 got ugly and interesting really fast, really fast. Let's just keep sieging stuff down and see what happens. Yeah, it it went back. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought would happen. I just wanted to see, but it went back. Who's on my side in this? Poland, Lithuania. Yeah, all my allies, or all my my subjects, basically. Yeah, so we're going to take this one. It's going to take one month. 
Can we not attack forts at all? Without artillery? That can't be it. No. There's a fort there, there's a fort there, there's a fort there, and there's a fort there. Alright, can't move there, but we can move here. Which has 79 regiments in it right now. Yeah, supply issues galore. So, what do we do? Now I'm now I'm a little perplexed. Fort level three. Fort level two. Hmm. Can't move there. We can move there, which France is apparently attacking. I'm not sure why. Maybe we need to take one fort at a time? I would imagine. Well, let's, let's see what happens on this roll. Okay, yeah, we're taking this fort. Well, France is taking this fort. I feel like I should... Not sit there and take attrition, though. I feel like that's the, the the worst idea. It looks like the attrition's really bad. I've lost a shit ton of men due to attrition. Like, a lot! Why is it... Who are they... What, what is the war that's... Fr that fr I'm wondering what, what war France is involved with right now. I have a foreign heir. Vladislaw Estinkalo. Oh, he's not that bad. 324 is not that bad. Oh, and we converted a place. Nice. Very good. Alright, now. Unit weight is 14.5. Supply limit is 13.9. So the supply limit here is shit. So why don't we just do this? Let's split these guys in half. Let's have half go hang out over here. The other half sit right here, just so we're not taking attrition from that anymore. Alright, but I think I'm going to have to figure the rest of this out next episode, because we're just about out of time. So everybody, if you've enjoyed this, just drop me a like, leave me some comments right down below here. I do uh, make a point of trying to answer every single one, and if you're interested in more Bedroom and Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4 with common sense, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.